Hey there friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm here with a new layout for the Hip Kit Club and I'm using the 2018 July kits for this. And my assignment for today was to create a sunburst on my page. And I actually created a sunburst on my layout from last week. So I thought I would do something a little different for this layout. Um, I had already cut into this paper. This is one of the Pink Fresh Studio pattern papers and I believe it's called Happy Life. And I just thought that I would make a very colorful sunburst. And so I just got out my ruler and sort of drew some really long skinny triangles as best as I could out of all of these different color strips. I thought I would use some of the orange, the yellow, the more of the, the darker coral color, and that light minty green color and just sort of start from there and see what I could come up with. So basically what I'm doing is creating my rays of the sun that I'm going to create. And I kind of had an idea going in my mind at this point that I kind of wind up changing. But I thought, you know, every time I make a sunburst, I usually use a stencil or a lot of yellow. And so I thought I would do a multicolored sunburst sort of like this and I'm gonna use this cute picture of Paige from a few years ago she was mid laugh with her eyes closed and I just think it's the cutest picture and I thought I would go a different route and do a black and white picture today um, instead of a color photo just since I've got so many colors going on and I didn't necessarily want to scrap a pool photo because I thought that I, every time I make a sunburst it's usually for a pool photo but I thought I would go a different route today so I'm going to put a lot of blue on my background since I don't have any blue in the strips of paper that I just cut. So I'm taking some white gesso and the first thing I'm going to do is add in some of the Shimmers Frostbite and that is from last month's color kit. It's the perfect periwinkle blue to match this Pink Fresh Studio collection. And I'm just kind of making a big scrapey smudgy blob in the middle of this white cardstock here. Because if you've gotten your kits, then you've seen this beautiful periwinkle color. But there's also some aquas in it. And so I'm going to mix in some of the Pink Fresh Studio liquid watercolor and the aqua, the aqua color. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, it's in this month's color kit. And I'm just going to do a couple of drips of that and smudge it over the frostbite just to kind of get some different tints of blues on there. And I'm going to wind up adding more as I go. And then I splattered some of the frostbite back on top of it. And I'm going to sort of try to, in a quick way here, try to recreate my sunburst. Now this is not neat. I'm just kind of throwing the pieces back together just to kind of see what it looks like at this point. Definitely not straight. And I wind up not liking it. I don't know. It's just the blue's too blocky and I don't know. I just didn't like it. So I thought I would soften it up a little bit and I went for my white gesso again and just smudged some white gesso over some of the areas just to soften up the blue. I just felt like it was too blue. And then I took a break and came back and thought I had a new idea. It just kind of popped into my head. I thought I'm going to turn this the other direction, one turn to the right, and then sort of make like more of an abstract sunburst, kind of going over to the right and have the photo situated over to the left. And I really like that a lot better. So this is definitely going to be more of an abstract type of sunburst. And I think it turns out really cute and I'm very happy with how it turns out. So this is one of the pretty little studio papers and I'm going to fussy cut out one of these floral clusters here. And I hadn't even really thought about using flowers for embellishments, but somehow uh, flowers always wind up making it onto most of my layouts. So you just can't go wrong with flowers. And I love these blue and yellow color flowers. They're just so pretty. And so I'm just kind of cutting a couple things out and experimenting and I'm going to wind up moving some of it. But I'm going to also cut out one of these um, lemons from this Pink Fresh Studio paper. I guess it's a lemon. It's kind of like a lemon flower. It looks like a black and white lemon, but it has a leaf. So I'm going to call it a flower and I'm going to wind up hiding the lemon part and just using the black and white leaf. But um, I wanted to bring in a little bit of black and white uh, since I've got the photo in black and white, but I still want this to be a very light layout. So I lightly glued down all of the paper strips and then I did a white machine stitch down the middle of each sun ray. 
and this allows me to bend up the edges. So this is going to create some really awesome dimension. And this is a very fast way to create dimension. So whenever you are going to use things like sun rays or flowers or hearts, you know, only glue down the middle of it. And so when it's dry, it's stuck down and then you can easily bend up the edges to really create some depth. And I think that just looks really cool. So yeah, I'm kind of glad I decided to go with an off-center design. You know, it's still a sunburst, but it's just a different take on it. I feel like, like I said before, I've done so many yellow ones, and um, I just wanted to do something different, and I think it turned out cute. So these are some of the Project Life cards from this month's kit, and the Project Life cards are almost always exclusive, and I'm going to use part of, let's see, I've got a coral one, or an orangey coral one, a black and white one, one of the blue periwinkle ones and a little bit of a yellow one showing there so kind of all of the colors showing through and then i just pulled out a bunch of the embellishments we've got a whole set of exclusive die cuts um, some awesome frames and i'm going to cut this to me this looks like a sun so i'm going to fussy cut that out and kind of put it behind the uh, top right area of the photo behind there and so it kind of looks like a sun and I, I'm kind of thinking that could represent the sun since I have sun rays even though it's obviously really small compared to all these rays but not everything has to be true to size and I just like the pop of yellow that that gives so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down and then I'm gonna add this black and white flower right there on top of the picture since I've got some open space in the photo and then I don't know if you got the Project Life kit, but there is the cutest package of exclusive acrylic shapes. There's stars, there's hearts, there's tiny flowers, there's a rainbow, there's ice cream cones and popsicles, clouds, so cute. Um, I used some of the clouds last week, but this week I'm going to use some of the tiny flowers. And so I put an orange one and I think more of like a coral colored one in the middle of that flower on the right, just to kind of give the middle of it some color. And then I'm just going to play around on um, some of the, the wood veneer, some of the tags, some of the labels, just kind of see what looks good where. There's so many bits and pieces. It is so hard to pick and choose. And even after I, cr I finish this layout, I still have so much stuff left. And I know this is only my second layout, but I'm just looking at everything and thinking, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff to pick from. It's overwhelming because everything's so cute. So I'm going to add in a little bit of light pink thread because I do have some light pink going on in the sun rays and the patterned, the more of the lighter pattern papers. So I did want to add more pops of the light pink and I'm going to go ahead and glue the photo down since I know that that's where that's going to go. And then I really wanted to use this die cut as my title. It says this makes me happy and I love that it fits perfectly right under the photo. It's not too big. And it's got that periwinkle blue color in it that I've got going on the background. Now, since I've added some foam behind my picture, I've got to add some foam to this die cut to make it level. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then just continue to play around. I am going to use some of these stickers from this pretty little studio sticker sheet. I'm going to use all of these little stars. And I like that they look like I just drew them on with a pen. They're black and white and they're so cute. Some are bigger than the others. And I'm just going to kind of scatter them amongst the sun rays. And then I'm going to use that little cloud just because it matched and it looked cute. And since I've got a sun and some sun rays, a cloud is appropriate. And so I thought I would use that. And then look at these cute epoxy stickers. I mean, like I said, just everything is so cute. I couldn't make, I couldn't make any of the bigger ones work. I do wind up using this smaller blue one with the heart. And I'm just going to wind up tucking it in right there. And then this, this layout has nothing to do with ice cream, but I, I'm going to use one of the ice cream cones because it's just so cute. And it's a layout about happiness and, you know, ice cream makes people happy and it's the cutest little embellishment. So I'm going to wind up using the, um, the aqua colored ice cream. And then I am going to tuck in two of the uh, phrase wood veneer pieces in between some of the sun rays there just because they fit and they look cute and this wood veneer is super thin I feel like you could almost stitch through it I haven't tried that yet but you could bend it I feel like if you bend it too much it's gonna break so it's very thin and very fragile 
so it almost feels like a thick paper. Isn't that ice cream cone the cutest? And so I use the aqua one because I've got some of that light mint paper in the, um, the sun rays, and I'm going to wind up adding some more aqua watercolor here in a minute. And so that color is going to be brought in a little bit more. I did a little more fussy cutting from those pattern papers that I cut from earlier. More flowers, and I'm just going to tuck in a couple more of those around the right side and the bottom right there underneath the title. And then here's where I decided to add in some more of the aqua. And this is the Pink Fresh Studio liquid watercolor. And I'm just going to use a brush and kind of go in between the rays and very carefully dab some in with a brush and then just smudge, smudge it with my finger because I felt like it needed a little bit more of a different tone of that color, not just the periwinkle blue. And even though I put some on there in the beginning, a lot of it got covered up and you couldn't really see it. And so since I've got gesso on the background, this watercolor here, it's just going to smudge and let me blend it. And it's going to look, it's going to look really good, I think. And it's a very subtle difference, but in person, you can really see the difference in the blues. And one thing about these Pink Fresh Studio watercolors is you can really make them bold and, you know, dark or you can just add more water and soften them up and make them pastels. I mean, they're very versatile in, um, you know, how deep or how light you want the color. This is a whole sheet of exclusive puffy stickers. How cute is that? Look at all those hearts and flowers and stars. I'm going to use some of the pink stars, just since I already had some stars going around. And I felt like the stars were appropriate because it's kind of like a blue sky behind the sunburst. Even though stars are not out at the same time as the sun, who cares? It looks cute and it gives me some more pops of the light pink. And then I'm going to do my date stamp in a different spot. I'm going to do it on one of those little labels and then stick it right at the top of the picture there. And then here's where I add more thread. Of course, I've got some aqua thread again to pull in a little bit more pop of that color. And I thought about putting it there above the little sun, but then I decide to add it down underneath the title. And I think I do add some more behind the sun. Yes, I do. Yeah, once once uh, this layout got going, it was it was one of those layouts where everything just kind of flowed in its place and I didn't really have to search and search for things. You know, everything just sort of worked and I love when that happens. Now this is some of the exclusive washi tape. There are two sheets of washi tape and I thought that I would use that to add a little bit of something over to the right side of the layout. So I'm just going to take a, sh a scrap piece of white cardstock and then load the edge of it up with different washi tapes that match all the colors that I've got going on in the layout. And I'm going to do my little edge, hidden edge pattern. I don't even know what you would call this. I'm going to glue it down completely underneath the right side of the layout. And then I'm going to go back and cut and tear the layout so you can kind of see all this peeking through. And it's supposed to look messy and uneven and kind of crooked. You could cut the whole thing. You could cut it with a uh, you know, with your uh, paper trimmer, make it perfectly straight if you like things perfectly straight. But you know me, I like it messy. So I'm going to tear it and rip it and kind of curl up some of the edges and make it look a little bit crooked. And that's just going to give me some interest over to the right. I debated about whether to do that. I almost just left it solid white, but I decided to go for it. And I am going to create a small cluster over to the right here. Not a lot. I didn't want to crowd up that side of the layout, but... I had a little piece of one of the die cut flowers left over, just like a little sliver. And I cut another pink flower out and another black and white leaf. And then I stitched along the edge there with white thread. And I like how that looks. And so it's going to, again, give me a pop of that light pink. I've got a little pop of yellow and a little pop of blue. And then I'm going to add one of those epoxy stickers that said, this made me laugh. Because it did. Anytime she's tickled and laughing and looking adorable, it makes me laugh too. And then I'm going to top that off with some yellow thread. So now I've got all the colors represented over there. And then I didn't know where I was going to add my journaling. So I'm just add a little tiny bit down here in between these two sun rays. 
And that is it. I love how this turned out. And now you can really see the aqua and how I added that in there. And I love how the aqua and the periwinkle color blues really mix together nicely there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, it's just a different take on adding a sunburst to your layout. I hope you give it a try. Um, I would love to see it. Make sure you keep uploading all of your layouts to the forum and uh, tag us on Instagram and Facebook so we can see everything. And let me know if you have any questions about any of the techniques or the products or the kits or anything at all. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.